right, boys, so we just ended up getting the brand new team season two of Team Affinity. So the brand new Team Affinity for season two. And let me talk about the fastest way that you guys can finish and unlock these amazing diamonds in MLB The Show 24. But before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like and a sub because I know that about 80% of you guys are not subscribed and let's get right into it. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They're offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with quick delivery. If you're interested, please click the link in the description and check out their services. Use my code Brady for 5% off your purchase. First things first, a little bit of credibility. I have all of the Central Divisions done except for two, and we were really, really close for it, and I didn't do a ton of grinding towards this. Um, I have pretty much all of it done. I just didn't really grind AOS because I didn't like any of the cards. But it's one of those things where if you guys are wondering, if you, like for some of these repeatable challenges, whenever you get the Season 2 Team Affinity, you're going to be gaining XP towards the AOS. So like if you're like, oh, I didn't have 100% of my AL Centrals for Season 1's done, uh, or for my example, AL West done, you're okay because you're still getting the repeatable XP for finishing the Chapter 1. So you're going to be fine. Like, I, all I have to do to finish the AL West in Season 1, Chapter 2 is to do some of the same missions that I'm already going to be doing with those AL West cards for Chapter 2 of Team Affinity. So it's not going to hurt me in the long run. So I know a bunch of you guys are like, well, maybe he doesn't have 100% out. Why am I listening to him? It doesn't matter. Like, I know a bunch of you guys watching are not going to have 100% across the boards. And you're still going to want to know how to finish Chapter 2 as fast as possible. I did the, I did the, like, the AL East. I did the NL Central. I did the ones that I wanted the cards from first. Um, and so that's kind of just one of the things that I went about it. And it's not going to hurt you guys whenever you're doing this, okay? So we're going to talk about the first biggest misconception that you guys have to do. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are not doing this. And that is, I'm not grinding Conquest this year. Now, do I think that Conquest is something that maybe you guys could do if you guys are wanting to get these cards ASAP? Yes, it's one of the better things to do off rip, but if you're one of those guys who are just like, I want to finish it, I don't really care, um, I would take these cards whenever you're doing these, okay? So there's a couple of ways to kind of modify the TA East and TA West, the TL Centrals. Um, this is how you're going to do it to get it fast as possible. Whenever you're grinding one of these conquests, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to buy a full live series team of Central players or a full live series team of West players, East players, etc. So that's going to be how we are doing these. Um, I don't think that you necessarily have to do it, but if you guys want to do the team of Fendies, make sure you're using a full lineup stacked as, as possible with those cards from that division so if i'm going after central cards i'm making a full team of royals cardinals uh tigers cards all sorts of guys like that and i'm just making sure that my starting nine especially my pitcher because those are the easiest to get xp that i'm grinding through a lineup with that so i'm getting the hits repeatable missions i'm getting the innings repeatable missions i'm getting the parallel xp with these players uh those type of missions, and you're just kind of stacking those up and up and up. And one way that I also got these done really quick as I grind it, it's just playing like Battle Royale. There's a new BR program that just came out today, and it's really good. You can make a ton of stubs by grinding the whole thing. But whenever you're doing that, <laughs> you're going to be getting a ton of parallel XP towards these Central, East, and West cards, okay? Because of the repeatable XPs, because of the strikeouts of people from those divisions. If you want to grind repeatable missions, you might as well just be playing Battle Royale. And so that's kind of one of those things where I did, uh, I did, I did, I think I did, uh, I didn't even do a single one of these. Um, conquest, I don't think that you necessarily need to do them. And I still finished 100% of the way just by playing Battle Royale and grinding other programs. So don't think that you have to just sit there and offline grind whenever you can be getting progress towards the west, the central, and the east by just playing something else like the Battle Royale where you're getting the program from there, um, you're getting all those diamonds that just came out, and you're getting all those golds, and if you're selling those cards, you're making a ton of stubs off rip. I would recommend going about it this way, okay, boys? I would recommend, however, whenever you're grinding Team Affinities, I would do the moments. The moments are so easy, and they give you 3,000 a pop, and it can be the difference. I like doing them personally, so like uh, Pudge puts on the show, that's literally just hit a homer or two doubles, um, one extra base hit. Like, these are not hard. They're on veteran difficulty. They are freebies. Make sure you do the central moments because they're really helpful. Um, just do the moments in general, okay? They take probably an hour to finish every single one of these, maybe 30 minutes if you're kind of popping off. But if you're someone who struggles, probably an hour. But it's so easy. It's so easy. And it's a lot of parallel XP, a lot of packs, a lot of stubs. And you're going to want to get it done fast.
Some people say that they like playing March to October. I think that it is the biggest waste of time. If you're wanting to grind through all this, just make sure you don't do this, okay? Um, just play other game modes while using these cards. If you really like March to October, cool, but this is going to take a lot more time and isn't going to be worth it for finishing the Team Affinity cards. You're just going to be missing out and you're not going to be getting a lot of rewards for doing it. Other than that, I can kind of drag this video out. If you want to do exchanges, there's ways to do it by value. Make sure you go for some of those newer cards that just came out and had the lower rounds, like the Kyle Lewis cards like that. I would exchange those cards to get the Team Affinity cards if you're going to buy your way up. But there's no reason that you need to do that. Like, if you're thinking, oh, man, I'm going to have to spend a lot of stubs to end up getting this program fast so I can get these cards. I mean, if you really want to, you can, but I don't really think it's worth it. Let's not waste our stubs on that because getting stubs are, it's just crazy right now. I mean, they're putting so many stubs in these card packs and it feels like the MLB The Show 19 all over again where they just, all these cards were not very free to play and now they're starting to kind of get their money up. Uh, San Diego Studios is absolutely milking us for our money right now because of just of how it is if you want stubs i mean uh it's just it's crazy it's crazy what we have to do right now but this is kind of the fastest way to finish team of Fendi season two if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you guys hit that like and sub button i'll talk to you boys later have a great rest of your day and peace